Hello, beautiful viewers out there. Welcome yet to another episode of Dare to Speak, as this is a highly opinionated program, which is all about head-to-head -head and going straight to heart of conversations. Today, we have a very, very important topic to discuss on, which is the society and how it is influencing or forcing young people to grow up too fast. Meanwhile, I am your moderator today, Aisha Yala, and here's the rest of my interesting panels. Hi, everyone. I am Fatma Dekhufana. Hello beautiful viewers out there. I am your Aramatulai Sambo. Hi guys, I am Emil Keita. Hello everyone, I am Hi guys, I am Hadija Tuhaita Ture. Well viewers, these are my interesting <laughs> panelists once again. And for today, is society forcing young people to grow up too fast? This is a question that I cannot answer alone. We have different opinions to this and Shortly, you will hear the rest of my panelists giving their own comments about this. But today, the first subtopic we'll be concentrating on is the issue of media. We know media has been influencing young people, our lives, and now with the globalization, we are seeing the other part of the world, the things that they do, and that contributes to how we live and it affects us at some point. So I'll begin with um, Emel Keita. What do you have to say on, in relation to the media? Thank you so much, Aisha. And once again, I want to tell the viewers out there that this is a very important topic and we want you guys to listen keenly and pick from the interesting and important facts. <laughs> First of all, what is, what are, who are young people? These are very important concepts that we need to understand. And what do we mean by growth? The society forces young people to grow up too fast. Growth is a pace of development that is specific and unique to each individual. Everyone grows at their own side and pace. So, to my point of view, yeah. with this subtopic of media, I believe media isn't forcing anyone to grow up too fast. Because okay. everyone has their natural rate of growth. Mm -hmm. I believe the media is very important mm -hmm. in shaping your mood of growing, to giving you expectations and reality on how to motivate you. Yeah. That is what I believe with aspect to the media. Yeah. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. You understand uh, some point of view because your younger try to tell us right now, ne? Kuneka denga am so will to grow, like growing up too fast. If it depends, see your nitke, see your letters. Yeah, that is a very important point. But then I want to go to um, P4 Fana. What can you say on that? Well, um, I'll add on to what MLK said. All right, um, social media. It depends on how people use it. Yeah. I might use it as a source of motivation and because I see someone that I admire, let's say that's a journalist or an actress there that I admire, but then, like I said, it depends on how people use it. There are others that are using it for a different motive. Yeah. And that is what brings in the negative um, effects on them. Sure. Haita? I mean, um, I share talking on, the, on this aspect of social media. Um, it is no secret that we live in an over, uh, in an oversexualized society. True. Um, we live in a society where children are being exposed to pornographic content online. They are being exposed to nude images, things yeah. that may stunt their growth. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also no secret that um, their um, children are using um, social media, media outlets like Instagram, yeah. like um, Facebook, without um. Yeah, yeah, proper proper supervision. Supervision. yeah, most of these apps have age limits. For example, you have to be 18 in order to. Yeah, yeah in order to. Tell so Lulu, to, to your age the limit, boy, neka the one, that's over important. Because then they am hala you, but in your hand, then they am the necessary age. Mm -hmm. But then they fake um, everything just to be there. And then they will be exposed to nudity and okay. everything. And there are so many scandals when they get started, when they involved in nudity. And this is a cause for concern. Yeah, actually, I think that is very important. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah. Children are forcing, uh, they are faking their ages in order to access yeah. these social media apps. Yeah. And I mean, they are being bombarded with um, nude images, with these pornographic images that are going to, yeah. to stunt their uh, growth. It's it, not doing any good for them exactly. at the end of the day. Yeah, and the, I, I personally have not seen anything that, is, that has been set and geared towards pre, um, preventing children from, um, under-age children from um, yeah. um, accessing those apps exactly. and those, yeah, those functions, mm, yeah. which, is, which I think is very important. Yes, Ara? Yeah, what most of us already suspected is forcing our young people into going too fast is um, the social media. Yeah, the social media is um, one of the key contributing factors that is forcing our young ones into growing too fast. For example, um, in a social media, one of the 
advantages or the key role that technology plays in social media in our, in our society is that it, it connects people. It connects people, like I was saying, it connects people from different parts of the world. You're here, and then you start looking into the lives of other people on social media who are not in the same part of the world of with you, or in the same society with you. You start imitating them, where in your, your societal norms and values are different. Yeah. yeah um, you see someone you Exactly. Admire. Like, your point is very important. Like, it comes down to what we were, what she was trying to say, and what Haita was trying to say, which is imitating people. Imitating the right people, like what people Fana said, that is a good aspect of it. Yeah. But imitating the wrong people, too, it can be very, it is actually detrimental to the, to the lives of young people. So this is a way we are saying that the social media is forcing people to go too fast. Yes, yeah, Sainabu. Um, AJ, it is no denial that um, the media often is really a huge role in making sure that um, we have you know, a better living or better life. Sure. But then looking at it, um, the society is forcing young children to go up faster. But there is something that also is influencing the society to go faster, which is the media, and that is what we're talking about. But how do I think the media is forcing kids to go up faster? We have privileges now that um, our forefathers do not have, which is having the access to the um, internet, having access to um, electronic devices. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, um, Instead of using those devices and the internet to make the best use of it, I mean to learn, do assignments and other things yeah. to get exposed, exactly. um, we're using it um, for other things like, I have my favorite, like for example, I'm using TikTok. I have my favorite, Tira Job is my favorite job. Obviously Tira Job is not doing something that is bad. If I imitate Tira Job, it is normal to imitate, um, to imitate her. But then, how about imitating someone that has this different... That culture? is where the problem you, comes in. Exactly. Yeah. That is what I'm saying. So obviously, I will agree for the fact that society is forcing kids to grow up faster because we have privileges attached to it. So, yeah. You yeah. just talked about uh, exposure, which I so much love from her point. I believe that the social media is giving young people the chance to be exposed to the world. Yeah. And this exposure is very important spiritually, mentally, and educationally. Yeah. So this exposure is what is the key factor here. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it is forcing them to grow up too fast. It is exposing them to the reality of the world. Yeah, I'm okay. Your point is superb. Because I saw all the young people nowadays, the society, most of them are doing big things. That is because they are... Um, imitating people that are worth it, like looking at our public figures that are doing things that are good, and then they're doing it, and then it's exposing them to do things that are good. Look at us today. All we do is we follow people that, you know, for instance, what inspired our talk show today is because we watch other people's talk show and we feel it is very, very important. And that is because we are seeing it through the social media. So it is a very, very important point. And viewers, this will take us to the next point, which is uh, peer influence. How does peer influence um, encourage or force young people to go up too fast? Because you know, this um, society right now, whatever you do, this is a more Most of the time, when they have more than parents, then you they advise, but you are the hard to buy. This is because society subconsciously they know they change the way they look at the different, different, different influence in one way or the other. And um, there is this uh, proverb we say, uh, exactly, show me your pen, I tell you who you are. Exactly. And both of the same what? Exactly. This, we have so many proverbs that can justify to this point. So, um, yeah, Haita, what can you say about peer influence? Haita, as you rightly said, yeah. the people we move it subconsciously or yeah. consciously see the people we mm -hmm. sure. mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so it's very important and very integral that young people know who they are um, hanging out with or who they are moving with. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you hang out with people who do not have a goal in life, mm -hmm. a vision to, to, to be successful or something, there is a high possibility that you are going to, you are going to behave like them. Mm -hmm. And we've seen in our society there are children who, are, who have refused to go to school, mm -hmm. they have refused to engage in um, 
any economic activities that may um, that might um, elevate their um, sure. uh, yeah their levels. Yeah. Um, they have also refused to um, attend any um, technical or these technical schools that will teach them yeah. skills or stuff like sure. that. At the end of the day, they end up being petty criminals. They end up stealing. They end up. Um, We've seen, doing we've seen this reminds me of um, the Operation Zero yeah. Crime that is been going on lately, and yeah, some time ago. Mo when you look at the statistics, people that are involved in drug abuse uh, and so many other criminals, there are very very young people that you know that could have set up their life to become better if, at some point, they had uh, good peer, yeah, good yeah. friends, peer peers that, that they would go with or being influenced the right way through social media. Yeah. I mean, this at some point is forcing them to grow up fast, yeah. but at some point in a negative way, yeah. in I a ghetto way. It all comes down to conformity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are all human beings, and it's natural that we conform with people that we move with. Yeah, which is why, like I said earlier, it's very important that parents monitor the friends that um, young people move with, yeah. that young people also um, have the will to reject um, exactly. friends or, yeah, or companions that will not um, bring value to their life. Yeah. Well, growing up, um, it's, it depends on you. You have to realize that, yes, this is the person that I want to move with. Sure. I always say, surround yourself with smart people. Surround yourself with people that actually help you um, make your dreams come true. Exactly. So if you uh, move with people that are not going to school or move with people that are not involved in skills training, move with people that are not helping themselves grow to another level, it will actually bring in that negative um, effect on you. But if you build yourself and then choose friends that will help you, you help each other, you help make your dreams come true together. Yeah, but how? How is uh, our peers helping us to grow too fast? I'm okay. How is it? Yeah. This would lead me to saying one famous Jola quote, mm -hmm. which says, a color is a color for barking. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey is telling you, you have a long tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very important. This is, this is a point that peers use. This proverb is emphasizing how peers uh, influence us. Right. Because if the monkey is telling its companion, you have a long tail, forgetting its own tail, yeah. it means there's something wrong somewhere. Yeah. Peers can influence you negatively, one, by giving you an image or an impression of something bad in a positive way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Example, most peers that are involved in drug use, they've been influenced by their peers who tell them that if you have stress, this is the only thing that can mm -hmm. elevate you or free, free you from the body that you are feeling. Mm -hmm. They will tell you, you the government is not um, giving you resources or work to do. Let's go and steal. Mm -hmm. So if someone keeps on telling you this and you are at the point that you are you are at your limit, your elastic limit, you would think that this is the right thing to do because it is giving you an image, a, pos a wrong image in a positive manner. Yeah. So this is one of the ways that peers influence their fellow That is a very, very important point, um, MLK. And now I'll move to Sainabu. What do you have to say on how um, society is forcing young people to grow up too fast through peer influencing? Um, I feel like all of them is very important to look up to the kind of people that you are moving with, um, which is, I'm going to use myself as an example. Um, before then, I wouldn't stand or even sit here have a discussion. But then, mingling myself with people whom I see myself, you know, being the same as them or being somebody in the future, um, you as an example, I oh. look up to you a lot, even though I'm kind of older than you. <laughs> Even though I'm kind of older than you, but then I have seen something in you, and in one way or the other, you're influencing me to be better. I'm not confident, and it shows, but then I'm trying. So it is very important as an individual to know what you want. Knowing what you want will lead you to what you will become in the future. So um, the reason why I think um, peer influence is, I know, is the case is because sometimes it's not even about your age mates. It's about someone older than you. You're moving with someone who is far older than you, who is I'm far much older more. than you. Yeah. And then you try to do the same exact thing that they are doing. Yeah. At the end of the day, that is going to contribute hugely to you growing up too fast because you're younger than them, or you're doing what others are doing. That is because you're moving with them. And yeah, exactly. And as Sina was saying, this just reminds me of something very crucial. Um, for example, both of you are friends. Mm -hmm. You guys are very amazing friends. 
but if you like peer influence, that's what I want to picture here. Sure. So there may be an instance whereby Sainabu has connections with people. Yeah. Sainabu is doing bad things. I wouldn't want to call names, but we, everyone knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Young people, especially girls at this society, at this society, they involve in things that we don't want to talk about, but it's happening, mm -hmm. and it's important. We no, we should, talk, we should about, talk about. We should talk about yes. them. That These is are young girls that are renting apartments and yeah. being there, inviting over men, using themselves to, yeah. to, to, to bring money to their tables. Yeah. And mostly, when Sainabu does that and comes back to the neighborhood mm -hmm. with her car. With her cash. She becomes very respected. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this would also force Aisha mm -hmm. to say, Sainabu is young and she's my age mate. If yeah. Sainabu can achieve this on her own, mm -hmm. I can do that same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this would lead you to going to find the same means of getting that. And in, in most cases, you become worse than her. Yeah. yeah. Because the level of motivation you have makes you greater than her. Mm -hmm. So this is another way that uh, peer influence forces young people. Young people. That, that exactly. Way. This is a very, very important yeah. point that we and see. Yeah, Ara, I'll come to you. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very important point. Coming to our Peer influence of Aneka Loha Mantene is huge because most of the time, you have to do your bias and carry. Soon parents do not have to do it. Most do not spend enough time with them, especially in the 21st century. I'm the parents, you have to do Most of them, they do not do it. Both mom and dad, they do not do it. Most of the time, when you spend time, you ask children, so school will do them. Or see UTGB. Fofu and they spend most of our time. Mm -hmm. So Fofu Yangi engage with Samorami all the time. Lang and they the they move together. Mm -hmm. It is very obvious that they pick up nyom send attitude, send jikoi, lolung ijel. So so parent be down there, we ligate very hard put to make sure we give them in the end meet to your family or giving you a better life by struggling that hard. Sometimes we have time to check up some daily routine. Mm -hmm. So most of friends, your neck at the handle, they are very, very crucial. This will bring me to Aramatola Isambu. Yeah. yeah, this reminds me of what my brother once told me, that both they and that both. Student, they and that student. Footballer, they and that footballer. Mm -hmm. So if you miss this point, young guy and both, they and that footballer. Do I, do I and that? One must live his or her own way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? So this is where peer influence comes in, um, knowing the type of the friends that you move with in yeah. the society. Mm -hmm. And also, um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to move with them in order to get their influence. Sometimes in our society, we, we, we see young people of our ages doing things, or even the social media. We have talked about the social media already, but we see our friends enjoying or, or luxury, enjoying their luxurious lives. We don't know how they get those luxuries. Mm -hmm. yeah. We also want to be like them from the social media. We look at it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you, you have to be friends with the person. In the society, we have seen young boys um, smoking marijuana in our, in our hoods. As a young boy, as a young um, person, you're, pa you, you're always passing by those people. They smoke in our society always. And then you also, curiosity comes in. Curiosity comes as a as a as a um, peer. How to call it? Yeah. As a teenager. As or, a teenager. Yeah. yeah. You see that I'm of the same age with these people. They're doing this. Yeah. Why don't I also try this? Mm -hmm. Curiosity comes in, but you're also influenced by those peers because you have been seeing them doing it. You're also you're curious mm -hmm. to to it becomes to know or see what they're doing, how it feels, how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Then you're also influenced into the certain things that that they indulge mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that is a very, very important point. That reminds me of us looking at other part of the world, like the advanced world, looking at the Europe and or America. Like we see our mates, 16 years old, 17 years old, they're doing big in life, having their jobs. Right. And you are here, you are 21 or 22, and you, you cannot have something like that. You think like they are having the best life. Mm -hmm. But looking at the rate of, uh, societal act, you will see it is more in the western end mm -hmm. than here in Africa. This is because these people mature too early. And if you mature too early, it comes with greater responsibility. So if this responsibility comes up when you are 18, you are supposed to be 18, but you are acting 30, mm -hmm. it is going to be above you. Mm -hmm. You have stress, and then if there is no one to talk to you, what would you think? You think ending your life is uh, the best way to solve this problem, which is 
so bad. Our viewers, this is a very, very important topic that we cannot access. But you people putting it on the comment section too and giving us a like would help a lot. This would take us to the last point, which is uh, the parents. How is the parent contributing in our society, making young people to grow up too fast? Yeah, for that, I'll throw it to you. Well, um, we all come from homes, and yeah. I, it's hard to say, but we, it's, it's a fact, you know. Sometimes parents treat children as mini adults. Yeah. Too much expectations. Other than use it as um, a motivational tool and take up the challenge to become better, while other children, they consider it as a form of pleasure, and then, you know, this but I think it depends anxious. on how you, as a parent, approach your child. Yes, yeah. it's to very do better. important. But then the too much expectations so there is the thing. You want your child, and then that is what comp their comparison comes in, and yeah. then they start comparing. Yeah. Because okay, my friend's daughter or son is doing big there, and then built a home or boat cars for his mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I also want my child to do that. You have no idea what that person went through to get that. Mm -hmm. But too much expectations, you want your child to be like it's that. It's a burden on exactly. you. Exactly. So while others use it as a source of motivation, it's yeah. more like a pressure on your child. On your child. I'm okay. What can you tell us on that? We do want to go Take me and back again, my girl. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, um, we will all agree mm -hmm. the important role that parents have played in our lives as young people. Yeah. Despite growing, we, we still look at them as a motivation. Yeah. I believe that parents don't force young people to grow up too fast, okay. but instead motivate them, guide them, and protect them towards their pace of growth, as I said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. For example, I will give an example of the, the famous tennis female player, um, the... Uh, no. okay. Serena Williams. Serena Williams, yes. If you watch her documentary, you would see the important role that her parents played in her, in shaping her to be the greatest woman in tennis playing. Yeah. And it was her dad for that matter. Uh -huh. The man coached her since she was young, guided her, protected her, and gave her all the things she needed to, to, to grow. So you, this, this is the point that is, that is emphasizing that parents don't force us to grow too fast, but yeah. instead motivate us. At the end of the day, all of me are funny. So this is the role that parents play. As much as they're sitting down, they're looking at high heights and they see things that we're not seeing. So it is their responsibility to guide us through that growing path. Yeah, that is a very significant point that you may mention there. Parents are uh, our, let's say, gods. Shield. Exactly, they're responsible for shaping us to be better and at some point. Mm -hmm. But, uh, P4 Fana also made a very, very important point. In as much as you want to motivate your children, there is a way to do that. At some point, when you go to the extreme, it becomes a burden on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are things that we need to look at. So, Haita, what can you tell us on that aspect? Um, yeah, um, parents are people that we look up to. I mean, since we were born. Yeah. So, whatever age we are, we are still going to be our parents' babies. Yeah. Still going to be babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we, we very much look up to them to guide us or an advice also, mm -hmm. stuff like that, in order to become successful. Mm -hmm. you know, but sometimes, some parents become so overbearing. We're yeah. seeing it in our society. Yeah. They set expectations that are too high mm -hmm. for someone that's 16, someone that's 18, someone that's 19. Yeah. I mean, um, it all comes down to the society again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. I it also leads to a sibling rivalry, because um, sometimes you see they are like, maybe two siblings or three siblings, if one of them succeeds uh, you, earlier than the exactly. other, then it becomes a problem. The other one yeah. is giving more importance oh, exactly. than, the, the, than the other one. So that alone is a pressure in the compound. Mm -hmm. That can also lead to that person to do things that he or she is yes, not supposed to do. Exactly, it's actually forcing the young person. And it will cause some rivalry, which is not very healthy. It's not yeah, at all, healthy especially healthy. family yeah. level siblings. Yeah. Sena will come in from there. Um, again, Aisha, um, I agree to what all of them said, yeah. but then the problem that I have is mm -hmm. parents not having dialogue sure. with their kids. 
We, they are too busy nowadays. They are more about their jobs and what they are putting on plate. Mm -hmm. How about having a conversation with your child? Yeah. Knowing their needs. It's very important. Like the pen had to say, Hong, like it's a law, Hamadan, the Flamid, Madame Society, the Coco one, and Munala, all my jobs, Mangi relax, Mangi and the 24 hours. Munlo, my major. If you have a soap on a good book, like you're, you're, you're making them scared, you're not giving them that, like, Good. Exactly. Then what are you doing there? You're forcing them to go outside and learn. And from so there, then you're them the same PSC, you're and the advice. advice. And then, so yeah. I think um, in as much as our parents are doing everything humanly possible to make sure that um, yeah. we have the best life, yeah. they should also be very careful of between noon and noon yeah. because they play a vital role there. Very to your kids. If you don't talk to them, don't have lala gaidi Yeah. If you do not talk to them, don't have lala gaidi It's not all. It's not just one way giving yeah. orders to your child yeah. all the time. It's like you're also receiving from them, know what they want and what they need at some and point, then, and advise them. And that reminds me of one of my famous quotes there. Yeah. Almost everything you want to enjoy today was impossible yesterday. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But what turns an impossibility into a possibility? Mm -hmm. A possibility into a probability. Uh -huh. And a probability into desired success is the power of a parent. Yeah. You see, we just emphasize. Exactly. Um, Ara, come yeah. from there. Um, I have picked up something from what Heike said about um, that causes um, sibling rivalry. Um, you given privilege or put it on top the one who brings more to the family than the other yeah. is, a, is a problem nowadays. This is, I have watched a movie, let me give an example for us, a scenario, a movie where um, the mother or, or the parents, let me put it that way, the parents, they had um, only two children. That is um, a lady and a man, the brother and the sister. Mm -hmm. So the sister, she's not even walking. She got money. She, she always, sorry, she always gets money from her boyfriend or whatsoever. And then the, the brother, who is a bit older than her, is belittled in the movie because he doesn't do much for the family. Yeah, it'd be every morning the Kode Saga and then sister because her and Mokomak would come and the hall is be Joko paper, go and pay the bills because mom Momonica the Guinea has is mm -hmm. the one pumping money into the family mm -hmm. and then you as a brother you're doing nothing. When he talks, they'll be like, what do you contribute towards this family? Yeah. He's the yeah. one who is supporting us in everything. Mm -hmm. You're doing nothing here, and you are the man in the compound here. So what the guy ended up doing was he became a, an arm robber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He became an arm robber, very, very, which is very detrimental to our society. Mm -hmm. He became an arm robber. So Haita, it's not only about um, sibling rivalry, but it's, it's also detrimental to our society. Mm -hmm. that, that, that man. Um, in the case that he, in the movie, he wasn't um, forced or harassed for not doing anything in the family, he wouldn't become an arm robber. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy to the right destination. Mm -hmm. yeah. So from there, I also talk about um, the manner in which children are raised. Right now, the way in which children are raised is changing in our society. And one of the greatest influences in our lives are our parents. And they're changing the way they're raising us. Nowadays, children are no longer playing with um, the old-fashioned toys and dolls, but instead they have traded them for um, these gadgets, the cell phones, the iPods, the iPhones. These are things that are provided to them or, or provided for them by their parents. Mm -hmm. And also, perhaps to prevent them from playing outside. What's childhood without play? Aside from forcing the child to grow, one of the fundamental rights of children is the right to play. Mm -hmm. You need to allow your child to play, mm -hmm. to know the value in childhood. If you're preventing your child from playing outside, you're forcing the child to be busy on, on their gadgets or to watch a television inside, mm -hmm. you're forcing the child to grow. The child will constantly not see the value, will not see any value in childhood. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as well, we force them, sometimes force them to watch um, TV with us. When watching TV with us, um, they don't, we don't change the TV show. Parents don't change the TV show. We sit and watch the same um, TV show with them. And children are good imitators. They're very sensitive. They imitate whatsoever they see. So yeah. they see too, too, too much of people in the movie doing something. What we normally do in our homes is, another remote, the another remote, we all jump and say, well, who are you changing it for? In the first place, why are you watching the same TV show with a child? Mm -hmm. 
who is uh, below the age of 18 yeah. or 12. So before you realize, the child picks up something from what he or she has seen and then mm -hmm. but, yeah, you know, think of an eye. Yeah, like you may mention, it. uh, they are very good imitators, that is very good. Mm -hmm. um, also, children at some point, they need this childhood moment because it is very, very important in growing up. There are certain ways that grown-ups act is a reflection of their childhood. Mm -hmm. If you don't receive the love and the care that you are supposed mm -hmm. to have in your childhood, it is going to be very, very difficult for you to portray the same thing to your right. own children. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what Alamed mentioned is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is going to psychologically affect you because you are not going to give the love that you are supposed to because of the way that you were treated. Mm -hmm. So, um, viewers, I will allow Haita, you can say a last word. Yeah, yeah. Um, to close, um, in my closing remarks, I would like to urge young people mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that they I am very particular about peer peer mm -hmm. So I am going to urge young people to know who they are and who they are moving it to also know what they want to do. That yeah. way, nobody can derail them from the path of what they Yeah, say now a little to um, say. When you ask what you want to do, you don't just have to engage everything you see. Yeah. Take the best part of what you want to do. Exactly. And then be the rest. Yeah. Because it is not just for anyone. It is meant for all of us, but it's still just like that. So my advice to them is that focus on your things. It is never too late. Thank you, madam. <laughs> and okay, let it not be long. <laughs> yeah. I feel like crying. No, please, don't cry. So, young people out there, I would want you all to nurture your sense of maturity. It is very crucial. Everyone has a matured mind in them. It depends on how you nurture it and how you put it into you. If you put your maturity into you, then you will not be subjected to exploitation by any person. Yeah. And you will not be forced to grow by society, by parents, or even here. Yeah. So, also, nurture your sense of maturity and give it to Yeah, people. Nurture, <laughs> as MK <laughs> <we've> mentioned. <laughs> Allah, your All last right, word. My last word. Oh, my advice is going to the young people as well regarding um, peer influence. Believe in yourself and don't copy people in, in, in the negative side. Mm -hmm. We have. In imitating people, we have three channels, the right channel and the wrong channel. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the right channel, please continue believing in yourself and find right ways into being in the position and of the right yeah. people. people. That's your <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I, since all of them are talking about um, young people, I will send my message to your parents. Ah, please, it's not Thank always you. about buying gifts, okay? Marry my nigga and everyone that is living, my Daniel. It's not always about the gifts and that somebody knows to open. Get a chance, in I see, in I touch up. Be it back at our school level, and it will be in the town. And some of them, yeah, miracle about it. I don't know about it. Just have a chat with your children, and then that is when you will get to know what they are facing. It's not always about the gift song. Lord, you can say, you know, 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 how society is forcing young people to grow up too fast, mm -hmm. in which my panelists give different, different uh, perspectives on what they think uh, society is forcing in relation to parents, in relation to the social media, mm -hmm. and also peer influence. I think these are very, very important keys that are so much important. Mm -hmm. Not to say much, all I can say is for a better Gambia, a better cup of youth or the world, what we need are good people to take our young people through the right channel. On that note, we'll say thank you. But before that, we we'll want you to like and give us a comment on what you think on today's session. Thank you. Until we come your way next time. Bye-bye.